Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. Alpha again refutes pilot shortage despite evidence. Envoy offers $100,000 in pilots' pockets before training. ERAU flight teams lead cross-country regional competitions. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Alpha again refutes pilot shortage despite evidence. Despite airlines bragging about paying record bonuses for new pilots, Alpha has released data from the FAA that reportedly demonstrates that the U.S. is producing a record number of certified airline pilots this year, with more pilots in the market today than there are jobs available, supposedly. According to the FAA, 9,397 new commercial airline pilot certificates have been issued in the last 12 months, exceeding airline analyst forecast and airline pilot demand. In addition, the U.S. has roughly 10% more flight instructors than before the pandemic, which will allow for increased pilot production in the future. Despite the ongoing strong growth in the number of pilots available in the U.S., Alpa claims that some special interest groups continue to spread misinformation, blaming profit-driven service cuts on a lack of available pilots. Alpa says that their real goal is to weaken proven pilot training safety standards so they can hire less qualified aviators for lower pay and benefits. Airlines cut or modify service to small, less profitable communities while adding additional service to markets that are more profitable. It has nothing to do with pilot supply or safety regulations. And after the break, USAF uses flight sim outreach at suburban schools. You know, as we look back on 2022, it has been quite a year. We hope you had a chance to participate in the good times and learn and fly and expand your horizons. To wind up the year and celebrate the holidays, we're going to share a 22% discount with you on any King Schools course. Just use the code word GRAVY at checkout or when you call us. Let's have a great Thanksgiving week. And a happy holiday season. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. USAF uses flight sim outreach at suburban schools. The Air Force's Recruiting Service Detachment 1 took to the suburbs of Detroit to promote its Aim High Flight Academy and other U.S. Air Force opportunities geared towards students about to graduate. While the detachment's primary goal was to inform and inspire about the Aim High Flight Academy, the team capitalized on enlistment and commissioning programs as well. Their secret weapon in gaining the eyes and ears of generally apathetic young high schoolers? The squad's tabletop flight sim, along with a few Air Force-flavored goodies for those who scored highest in their flight skills. Pilot on track to chair House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee The would-be chairman of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee may be of interest to pilots as Missouri Rep Sam Graves brings his own flight time to the position. Graves is set to replace the current committee chair, Organs Peter DeFazio, who has led the panel since 2015. Graves has made some news in recent months over his comments regarding the bipartisan infrastructure law. Congressman Graves, in a rare turn of events for a politician, brings real career history to the floor, a lifetime in aviation as a professional pilot. AMA recognized as an official CBO. After first establishing the creation of CBOs to offer some structure and guidance to the recreational drone community, the FAA has officially recognized the Academy of Model Aeronautics as a community-based organization as of November 15, 2022. CBO recognition is important for many reasons. This validates and gives credibility to our safety program among stakeholders and regulators. Although AMA has been shaping regulations for decades, legislation gives CBOs a more formal seat at the table when the FAA considers recreational regulations. Horizon Air donates Q400 to AMT program. 
Horizon Air donated one of its older Q400s to the Portland Community College Foundation for use in the school's aviation programs. The maneuver seems to be a common one this year as airlines look for possible uses for timed-out aircraft more sustainable than sending them out to a scrapyard. The sustainable solution might be donation to aviation maintenance degrees around the country, a solution that puts a well-used aircraft to work teaching the next generation of AMTs. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Envoy offers $100,000 in pilots' pockets before training. Envoy is sweetening the deal for new hire pilots, offering up to $100,000 of bonus money for those with the kind of logbook the airline is looking for. For those pilots who receive a conditional job offer until December 31, 2022, the full amount of the bonuses, less taxes of course, will be paid out on the day prior to the pilots reporting to training. The catch? Pilots will have to have a good deal of Part 121 flight time under their belt. The grand prize of $100,000 is available to pilots with more than 950 hours of 121 time and $75,000 to pilots with anywhere from 500 to 949 hours. In addition to the bonuses, new first officers with more than 500 flight hours will be eligible to receive a 50% pilot supply premium and captain's pay once they reach 750 hours, at least while both programs are still in effect. Earlier this month, another American Airlines family member, Piedmont, announced similar bonuses. Captain Rick Wilson, vice president of flight operations, said, quote, As we continue to grow, Envoy places massive importance on recruiting and retaining the best pilots in the industry, end quote. And after these messages, ERAU flight teams lead cross-country regional competitions. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. ERAU flight teams lead cross-country regional competitions. Flight teams from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University won at this year's 2022 National Intercollegiate Flying Association SafeCon Regional Competition, taking first place in each of their respective regions. The Golden Eagles flight team from Embry-Riddle's Prescott campus won at the Region 2 competition held in Bakersfield, California, while the team from the Daytona Beach campus earned their title at the Region 9 competition in Lakeland, Florida. Teams swept up the competition at both ground and flight events with all four top positions. Whether competing in computer accuracy, comprehensive aircraft navigation, or aircraft recognition, ERAU students set the bar. Team members nabbed top spots in their maneuvers too, acing the short field landing, power off landing, and the unlimited navigation events. This year also saw the school pick up their first competition safety award since 2018, going up against a raft of college aviation departments from around the country. Golden Eagles flight team coach Sean Shepard said, quote, The Golden Eagles took 21 members of the team to participate and continued its long tradition of winning regionals, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.